But if you don't, if this job is too boring, that's why you want to be with him. Then go find you somebody you think is exciting that can take care of you. But it sounds like this chick just lazy. Entertain, go get an iPad and go in the other room with the kids. I mean, I I would have preferred to just stay slowly at home. But of course you would, cause you're lazy. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again with another episode of What That Foolery. Yeah, man, we got it one more time. Let's let's bear with me. This one here, this one's by far about the dumbest thing I've heard. This chick leaves her boyfriend because his job is boring. That's it. He had a boring job. He worked with real estate. Now, it sounds like he may own a few buildings trying to, you know, kick off, uh, you know, fixing them up, flipping homes or whatever. And she said it's boring. So she left. him. So this is where we at. So the Godfather is talking to this chick and trying to give her some wisdom. But some of these chicks you just can't fix. Simple as that. So y'all follow along. Y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, and share. And let's get this thing popping. Let's go. <laughs> That's how it's done, Anika. How you doing, Diane? I'm well. Good. How old are you? 26. 26. All right. Are you single or married? Single. All right. So what do you got for me? Are you trying to uh, get a job? Um, I had one at a point in time, but I, I understand what you're saying in regards to, you know, women should want to work for their man, but sometimes depending on what your man does, it's just not an ideal position. Listen to this. Please. Um, such as? For instance, um, my ex at the time, he worked in real estate and... I painted with him, you know, whatever he needed to do, I did it. But at the same time, it's like, real estate, that's, that was boring to me. It's what? It was boring. It was demanding. It's, you know, it's a physically demanding job, so. You said it was boring. Yeah. I mean, painting rooms is not the most ideal thing to be Who doing gives a every shit? day. Who gives a shit? God, dog. <laughs> You're right. See, you just said. That it's not possible. Not for a child, it's not. But I'm assuming I'm talking to grown damn women. If you want to you want to be in a... Hold on before he starts that. Uh, I've seen this before where some women saying a man job is boring. But the job brings in the cash. Like, she doesn't work. She's sitting up at his crib. And they're not married. And he's taking care of her. Now, you might have to do some little things to help him out, but I guess that's something you chose to do because you was with him. But but if y'all making this stuff work together, y'all moving towards something, if not, just stay and get your own damn job. That's my thing. If you're not going to try to, you know, first of all, I wouldn't be doing none of this if I wasn't married. If I'm not married to him, I'm not doing all this. That's the first thing. So, ladies, y'all got to figure it out, man. But if you don't, if this job is too boring, that's why you want to be with him. Then go find you somebody you think is exciting that can take care of you. But it sounds like this chick just lazy. Entertain, go get an iPad and go in the other room with the kids. I mean, I I would have preferred to just stay slowly at home. But of course you would, cause you're lazy. There it is, see? Are Stay you fine here. enough to stay at home? I believe so, yes. Really? How I tall are you? I'm 5'8". Dress size? Size 4. How much did you weigh last time you weighed yourself? 137. Where would you rank yourself? Fresh face out of the shower, just shutting out your hair. 1 to 10, you can't use 7. I would say I'm, adjust I'm an adjustable 6. No, you're not adjustable. 
I would give you a six. <laughs> That's cute. She's very, I would say about a five. Um, but she's, she's not ugly. I don't she's find just many very ho- average. cute housewives. A lot of girls just, look like her. Somebody just takes care of them. Why should anybody take care of your 26-year-old self? You got any kids? No. So why do you need to sit at home? <laughs> because why not? Why not? Yeah, yeah I, I want to. And, and this is our melanated sister's dream right here. You want to go to school, get 500 degrees, meet a man, and don't work. That's what y'all want to do. Y'all will go to school until you're damn near 50 to get a degree so you can say, I don't want to work. I'm tired of working. I don't understand it. Y'all compete against each other. That's, that's for damn sure. I guess when y'all sit around, y'all can compare how many degrees y'all have apart. But it makes no sense to me how y'all will rack up this, this debt and then realize, first of all, a lot of you are not making that kind of money. So y'all sitting here with masters and doctorates and you're, you're barely making $100,000. And so I don't know why y'all do this. I don't. I don't. And then y'all say y'all don't want to work. Like she has a degree, but she don't want to work. You see what I'm saying? So she wants somebody to take care of her. So you kind of get what you get when you want somebody to take care of you. But like like Kevin's trying to tell her, you're not that caliber where somebody's going to come in making that kind of money, going to say, well, you know, I want to take care of you. I don't know. I deal with women. I mean, I, I wouldn't. No, 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 no. See, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to use this as a teaching lesson, though. Mm-hmm. Did you go to college? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So, Did you graduate? Yes. What's your degree in? Health science. Health science? Did you take out loans? Yes. So you took out loans. How how much college? I mean, did you take out loans for all four years? Mm-hmm. Okay. So when you were in college, uh, you didn't go to college to take out loans to go sit at home. You know, being African, you know, you come to the United uh, States. Uh, you didn't. No, 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 no. You didn't take out loans right. to go sit at home. You have no children. You went to school for health science. It was science. more so a backup plan. Excuse me? A backup plan. It was plan. a backup plan. To what? You sound like a side chick. Going to college? No, you sound like a side chick. What's coming out of your mouth sounds like a side chick. Not a woman to build with. Her backup plan was the the degree. So I guess it don't work out. I'm going to go get me a job. But you're going to sit on your butt for years and then jump back in the workforce? Come on, lady. Everybody know you can't miss out so many years and jump in the workforce and you're going to be back like you're going to be on top. You're 26. You probably got out of school maybe a year or two ago. You don't work. You don't have no experience. Let's be real. And right now, you're not working. So what is going on? You know, you said you're single. So that means you left your dude, you're not working. So how are you paying your bills? You're not. You went right back home to mommy and daddy probably. But if you listen to how she talks, she sounds like a child. She's 26, but she still sounds like a child. Well, because you went to school, went, to, went, went into debt, and then you don't even want to work when you're young with no kids. You want to sit at home. So if as a man out here who's looking to have a woman of value, I will get a woman who's going to go to school who wants to at least work with me to help us build our family. You may have you on the side for fun, Mm. but you're not a woman. A woman who think like you aren't women to build with. Right. Well, going to college wasn't on my doing. It, It was really a push for my parents. So, oh, God, I don't want to hear that. You're a you grown woman. Could have dropped out. Your family cannot make you do something you don't choose to do. I, okay. No. Again, <laughs> I'm assuming I'm talking to adults. 
Now, I'm going to ask you a question. Serious mm-hmm. question. 30 years from now, if you had a son and he ran into a woman like you, you'd say, you'd tell him, yeah, let her just sit at home and do nothing. If he ran into a woman like me? Yeah, yeah. Your, you, your son that you had to birth, raise to become a solid citizen, productive man, and he ran into a, a 26-year-old woman who didn't want to work. She just wanted to sit at home and be taken care of. She was healthy and she was she was healthy and get out there and do everything that anybody else needs to do. But she just wanted to sit there and take advantage of your son's money. You tell him to do what? Well, when you word it like that, it sounds you tell horrible. Him, no, that's exactly what. And see, guys, this is how you have, have to frame stuff for women to understand. Put it in the sense that they have a son. Would you want your son to bring home a woman like this? Then they see it. If you don't do it that way, they will not see it. I don't know what it is, but as soon as you put it in, your son bringing them home like this, like when they say it, like people jump on me when I say I tell my sons don't bring home no woman with kids. Oh, wow. They're young. They don't need, they don't need to be taking care of nobody's kids. And so, and I, then on here, he'll ask these women that single mothers that have sons, Do you want your sons to bring home a woman with three kids? And they'll talk around it. Uh, uh, what about two kids? Uh, well, I prefer if he start out on his own. Oh, really? Why is that? And then they go through, they can't really explain. But it's the same thing we're saying. Nobody wants to raise somebody else's kid. Or start raising them and then y'all break up. This chick here, once he put it in that same frame, she lost folk. Then she's like, well, when you say it like that, it sounds horrible. That's why he said it like that. So he can let you understand how you sound. You sound horrible, young lady. Do y'all get it? You sound freaking horrible. (laughs) You want to sit on your butt and let your man work. And you don't have kids. You ain't having kids by nobody. What the world is going on? And you sitting on top of a degree. Like, that's a whole nother level lazy. It is. Um. Look at you. Tell him what? What would you tell you? What would you tell your blood? Um. So it's a little different for me because. What would you tell your blood? See how they we'll float around it. Blood. I would tell him if he's financially able to afford that, then he should absolutely do it. Why? If he if he finds a woman who he feels like is an asset to him or compliments him, but well, asset is buy. a woman sitting on her ass doing nothing. How is it sitting on her ass when she could be? She's cultivating the home. I didn't say I was. At home no, no, ma'am. You have no children, nothing. and there's nothing that you there's you have no children. There's okay. nothing for you to yes. do at home. At the time, no. no so so how are you an asset sitting on your ass at home when there's nothing for you to do? You're right, Kevin. I should have gone I should have went to paint the houses, but it's just like bro, it's no it's, you shouldn't have done what no, 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 no bro. It, bro? Did you say bro? <laughs> like did you say bro? Oh, that's that bullshit. Yes, I'm sorry. Did you say bro? Yeah, you know what? I like, am just, a strong independent woman. Having that responsibility and like I don't know. That's just not how I envision my life. Like I envision myself. Like if I. And guys, when your woman call you bro, check that shit. When your kids call you bro, check that shit. Let's just stop all this. We all the same. I'm watching mothers talk to their kids and talking about bro. And then the kids referring to her as bro. And she thinking that's being cool. I said, okay, give him about three more years and see how cool that is then when he's telling you to shut the fuck up. It's coming. Let's tell my husband with a business, it would be not something so physically demanding on me. Like, you know, like, it could be anything. Mm, where are your she people from? Know. I'm Nigerian. Mm-hmm. Why don't you run back over there and talk that shit? There it is. <laughs> You're not, you're not understanding me, I don't believe. Oh, I'm, I'm understanding when I'm talking to a lazy, entitled young lady. Why don't you go back? I wish you to ask her what job did she hold. Because she couldn't even give an example what type of job she would, looking for, would like to have. 
I bet you they have nothing to do with her degree. I can guarantee you that. Go back to Nigeria, go back to the motherland, go back to two generations before you and talk this. I didn't envision having to do this. You're lazy. See, two things I don't deal with is lazy and cowardice. In anybody. I don't blame I have to. But how was it lazy? This, that was what I seen was done with my mother. So I don't understand like how me. Gentlemen, it's me you run into a woman who thinks like this. There's no negotiating. <laughs> don't even have sex with her. Just cancel her. Oh, I'm telling goodness. you. Just... And see, and that's the thing, man. You guys got to stand up like the dude doing that. He might think she's super fly. You know, think she's she might think she's a 10. That's why he's like, oh, I just need you to be at home, help me, do blah, blah, blah. But in her head, mm -mm, I'm not doing this. But he must make enough doing what he does because he's taking care of home and you. See, the thing is, you can't go and brag about his job to all these girls like you want to. So what? He renovate homes, fix them up and resell them. A lot of people do that. It's called flipping. Everybody does it. That's a, hey, it makes money. So you talking about this, I, I don't want to be doing that work. You can be doing this paperwork. You can be doing this taxes. You can be doing all kind of stuff for this man. But you chose, you want to sit on your butt. Now, if he needed you to help fix a house up, paint a house real quick, Get up and go do it, because that's going to bring money for you guys. But then again, I'm going to say it again, I wouldn't be doing any of this unless I was married to him. I'm not doing all this labor, none of this shit coming to me personally. I wouldn't be living up in there trying to parlay. You're not married. So, yeah, you know, it is what it is. You was actually getting over because you weren't married and he was letting you stay there for free. And you didn't have to work. So you had it, mate. All right, so let's move on to this next clip real quick. It's going to be something real goofy. Another melanated sister who thinks she got the world all under her little brain, 23 years old, and thinks she got the answers, guys. Thinks she got the answers. But let's let old Godfather cook a little bit, and let's see what's going on. Cancel it. Outright, there's nothing to be said. They're used okay. to getting there, throwing little petty guys, little girl temper tantrums and trying to get their way. Leave them. Yeah, this young girl, man, she's. These young girls think they know, man. Hello. Hi, Kevin. Can How are you? you? I'm good. How are you? How old are you? I'm 23. All right. What do you got for me? Okay, so I just want to start off with saying I really love your show. You are the godfather, but I will say I disagree today what? with what you said about um, how men don't really go after women who are in healthcare. Um, yeah, I have to. But high value men. Okay, well, but I still, I still, I still have to disagree. Okay. Um, I'll take your your twenty three. I am. Yeah. I'll take my fifty two years of experience against your twenty three. You know, right. right. Okay. How many? How many hundreds of thousands of men do you dialogue with on a regular basis? I mean, uh, how many hundreds of thousands of men do you dialogue with on a regular basis? Thank I'm you. just saying from experience, ma'am. Your I anecdotal think. experience doesn't change the actual fact on the ground. This chick said from her experience, she is twenty three. And she said, from her experience, so have you really been around grown people? Because most of these high value dudes, they are pretty grown. And you're only 23, so who did you, who are you around that you think you know? Like, y'all just be talking, man. Just talking. I didn't pull this out of my butt. Okay. Just accept that you, you, I don't know why you ladies think your anecdotal experience at 23 is going to change the fact. How many men do right. you, how many men who are in a high value status do you hear disagree with me on that point? I, okay, I know you don't care about my experience. 
Well, no, I, what I, I care about that you is based in nothing except your little experience. I'm saying I didn't make this up. I got this as an aggregate of talking to men like this for decades. This channel has been around over a million subscribers on both places for over a year. Say did so. you see the conversation I just had? I did. Right. That's number one. You know who's number two? Healthcare. <laughs> okay. Well, can I say something though? Go ahead. I, and again, I know you don't care about my experience, but um, I'm in the healthcare field and I know several women in healthcare who are married, um, happily married and mm -hmm. two high value men. Okay. So they're, ha they're married in the healthcare field to high value men. Yes. Why are they still working? <laughs> I mean, some uh, people choose to work. I'm, I'm asking uh, why. I'm just asking if they're happily married. That's what she would understand. That's the point. <laughs> that he makes so much that you wouldn't have to work. He needs somebody to take care of home. But working in a nursing field, you work all the time. That's why you're not you're you're not big on the list far as like wanting to marry. It ain't that you are something wrong with you, but you guys work long hours and y'all work with a lot of long hours with opposite sex. And so you're gone a lot. And you're not here. So you're not available. But you know, she's just talking out her butt. She don't know what she's talking about. I'm I'm asking, do you know? Do they have the option to not work? Do they have the option to not do they have the option to not work? Do you know? I I think some do. Again, some are married to No, 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 no. I'm asking, do you do you know if they have the option to work? Yes or no? Yes. Some do, some do have the option. Mm-hmm. The ones that have the option to work and the ones that have the option to not work, why are they still working? She don't know, because she don't I bet you she does not know these people personally. These are people she has seen around the hospital, heard about, or whatsoever. I bet you she does not know these people personally. I bet you. Not enough to know about them, you know what I mean? Other than she's a supervisor. I mean, you're talking like you know their relationship, so I want to see. Well, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You talk like you know their relationship, so I'm going to challenge it. Because the next question is, 23 years old, let's talk about you. Where's your boyfriend, husband, boyfriend, fiance, um, husband? I am single. There mm -hmm. it is. When's the last time you had a relationship? I... Sorry, say that again? When's the last time you had a relationship? Um, about two months ago. How long did it last? It was on and off for about like two two and a half years hmm so what did you, you meet in college 21 yes hmm how old was he he was just one year older than me okay well um i'm gonna say it again i think it's laughable that we live in a generation where a 23 year old really thinks you can match wisdom with a man that's 30 years older than you right there's no way in hell if i was your age i would have ever thought to be that audacious but that just shows you the state of modern women today and then no, even I've no no and even based upon and i tried to be nice ma'am and i've been i, I could have gone a different path but <laughs> shame insults guilt and the need to be right the need to be right is very unattractive Especially when it's based in nothing other than it's based in nothing, except your anecdotal feeling, anecdotal experience, and feelings. Well, let's just say you were so right. You to say. Let's just say, for sake of argument, you were right. What's what's it going to change? Well, I was just saying that there are men who do want. Okay, they, fine. There are men that want them. Then what? See, this is a classic case of I called in just to argue with him. 
or like they say, debate him. But now he said, okay, let's say they are getting on them what? Uh, uh, she didn't think it out. Again, listening to respond and not to hear what's saying. That's what it, I don't even understand this shit with y'all, man. I really and truly don't. I, I'm trying. I'm really trying. But some of the ways y'all think makes no sense. Some of the things y'all do, y'all would just do stuff just to argue about it. And have no end to it. She don't know what else to say. Because all she knows, she wants to call on this show to say she disagree and don't know a reason really why. That's it. Um, thank you. It doesn't change, point. Thank you. It doesn't change. It doesn't do anything for the conversation. It doesn't move it forward. I just need to be right about something. See? Thank you. That's all I'm pointing out. It, it, there's... Uh, Debate one on one, guys. All right, so that's it on this right here, man. Something real quick, um, just to point out the stupidity that's going on in our melanated communities, man. There is no understanding going on with us. Like we need to be working together. We need to be trying to build stuff together, and the conversations are separating us. And they think Kevin used to talk about the situations. To separate, but he was always talking to bring us together. And that's what I try to do. And I've had people like, oh, you don't like black women, you don't like man, cut that BS out. Just cut that out. Nobody ain't sitting here trying, they hate no black women. I just want to know why y'all think the way you do about things. You know, and majority of y'all don't like black men. Let's be real, because y'all talk about us like, like we ain't in the room. So I don't know who else y'all supposed to be going to. You can't talk shit about us and then turn around and say he need to come and take care of me. It ain't going to work like that. That's why all these fellas move into another direction. You got young kids coming out of high school talking about they don't want, they don't want sisters. And you ask them why, and then they got to tell you. And where did like, where, where you get that from at 17, 16 years old? Being at home, around his family, listening. That's where they get it from, ladies. When y'all sitting around fussing and screaming and making a fool out yourselves around these boys, they are watching it. Well, guys, hope y'all got some up out of this, man. I, you know, I always do not watch The Godfather, so that's why I dug in and found this one. But uh, appreciate y'all stepping in, supporting, and make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share on your way out. And always and always and always remember, stay vibe. And it's your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm up out of here, man. Peace.